Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Sim City. Okay, this is gonna be the last episode. Otherwise, I'm just gonna like keep playing forever. Um, okay, so we made twenty three hundred dollars. It's pretty good. But um, yeah, I mean, this is like I'm still like making money, so I guess I could actually play this like forever. I guess like even even when you run out of room, you could still uh, just like like uh, like modify stuff and change stuff around. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and make this the last one. Otherwise, it's like, this is one of those games where it's like, how do you know when you're done? You're not ever really done. You're just done when you, uh, just decide to stop playing, pretty much. Um, actually, if you, like, F things up, you can actually rebuild, right? It'll just, like, take forever. Um, just, like, uh, if your population goes down, you won't get as much taxes. But it's like, well, you still get some. You can still, like, make changes and, and like, uh... And like rebuild, you know, even if like a bunch of disasters like f everything up, you could still like uh, rebuild it, right? It would just take forever, right? Um. Okay. Anyways, um. Yeah, I forget if I like. Yeah, I'm back on uh, first shift. I started my first shift uh, job, and um. Yeah. Did I say? I'm trying to think of like what all I said in the last one. This is a new like session or whatever. Um. But basically, the uh, the Gearcase Marriage Station, the one, the station, basically the station I was hoping to be put on, on third shift, I did not get put on. I was put on that stupid freaking station that I talked about, um, where I made the diagram for. By the way, I'm using uh, Camtasia Nine for editing, which is not, it's like not made to like do that. Like that took me like over an hour to make that little like thirty seconds of like the lines appearing and like following the path or whatever. Uh, yeah, it took me about an hour to make that. And there's that part of me that's like... I think that's the reason why I've been Let's Playing for so long. Because then, like, a rational person would be like, why would you spend an hour of your time to, like, make this, like, animation thing for a video that's going to get, like, less than 100 views? That's, like, not a good use of, like, your time. It's like, well, because I, because the station was so bullshit that I just wanted to, I, I just wanted the, like, however many people, like, watch this. I just wanted, like, you specifically to, like, know how bullshit it was, pretty much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just goes to show that, like, um, that one of the things I like about being, like, a small channel is that, uh, you don't have to, you don't have to do that, um, that, like, math in your head where it's like, well... I don't want to spend too much time on this because then if it doesn't get enough views, I'm not like I'm not like maximizing my like income, my YouTube income or revenue or whatever. Um, which I mean it is kind of but then on the other hand, it's like, well, why wouldn't you do that? You know? So I mean I I don't know. I can feel like I feel like I can see it like both ways. But uh but basically it's just uh I have the the freedom to uh to spend time on what I want to. And, uh, and to not spend time on things I don't want to, you know? Um, like, I'm not, like, at the mercy of having to decide to do what I want to do versus, like, what generates the most, like, uh, like YouTube revenue, you know? Um, okay, did I say what I was going to do next time, last time? I do not remember. Um, okay, what, what do I have? A windmill and a landfill. Okay, um... What's the deal with these? Five. I'm still very puzzled at why the heck these are not growing. Also, these, uh, these, like, C1... Like, I've seen so many of them. I know that there's C1 lows. Like, why does it develop, but, like, just at, like, the bare minimus, minimist, minimalist... It's the bare minimum, uh, amount of growth. It's basically, like, a gas station or something. And you have those ones, and you have all these ones along the top. Like these five along the top, and then these three. Like if these would develop more bigly. Hey, look how many there are. And this one, this one, this one, this one. They're all over the place. Do I just have too many commercial zones in general? But then if that's true, then why is the um why is the demand thing like so high? Actually, wouldn't it be weird if if it being like up meant that you had too many of them? Wouldn't that be weird? Um. Oh, Jeebus. Uh, but but I mean, these ones grew just uh, just fine. 
You know, I, I never noticed that these have a little parking lot. You see those? You can see, like, little cars parked right there. That's kind of cool. Um, so, what should I build? Um, man, what should I do? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm tempted to just, like, blow some of these up and just, like, put residential zones, see if they grow. Didn't I blow up these two residential zones and put commercial zones and they, like, grew, like, a tiny bit? They only grew to C1. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, I'm still, I'm still, like, naked in the apartment. I know I've been talking a lot about being naked lately. But, like, with this channel, like, I just talk about, like, stuff that's going on in my life. And, uh, and this is just, like, the most current one, you know? And it's kind of weird. Like, one of the... One of the weirdest things about being naked all the time is that it makes you, like, more aware of the existence of your cock and balls. You know? Like, most of the time, like, when, when you wear clothes, you're only aware of your dick whenever you pull it out to pee. And then for the five minutes that you pull it out to jack off, the other 23 hours and 50 minutes, like, you're not even, like, aware of, it, of its existence, you know? Versus, like, when you're naked all the time, you, like... You know, you, like, go to the kitchen for something to get something to eat, and you're just, like, and your dick and balls is, like, right there. Or you, like, you just, like, do anything, and your dick and balls are, like, always right there. Just any time, you just look down, and it's right there, like, all the time. It just, like, follows you around. But when you got clothes on, you just, like, don't think about it. It's, like, definitely a case of, like, out of sight, out of mind. So it's just weird thinking that, like, your dick and balls just, like, follow you, like, everywhere. So basically, every day of work is, like, bring your dick and balls to work day, you know? And everyone's just walking around with their dick and balls, but no one ever thinks about it. Um. Okay, I should probably build something. Jeebus, man. Yeah, this is gonna be the last episode, like I said. I don't know how long I'm gonna go for. But, um. I guess we just gotta start building over forest. I kind of don't want to build any more commercial zones. Just because after seeing all of, like, the low-level ones. Like, do I actually have too many? Maybe I should actually look up if the bar means you have too many of something. I'm pretty sure... I'm, like, 99% sure it's not the case. I mean, the bars have been... You know, the fact that the bars have been up... I've been, like, building super hard... Well, I mean, not all the time, but you know what I mean, right? Like, like the bar will be, like, up, and then I'll build, like, ten of something, and then it'll still be up. So maybe it's not the case. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause, and I'm going to look that up, just to be sure. I know I haven't looked anything up uh, yet, but I, ju I just want to know, like, once and for all, since it's, since it's the last episode. So uh, let's meet back. Actually, I'll just let the thing run. Since I'm still getting money every year. We'll be right back. And I'll see if I was right the whole time or if I was a dumb dumb. Okay, I looked it up. Uh, the problem is that the land value is uh, is too low. See in the bottom left corner of the screen? See, it's like that dark green. And then same with uh, all these ones on the top that are like not growing. All the low, the C1s or whatever that are not growing. Same with uh, up here. Uh, the industrial zones are fine. Uh, but all the commercial and residential zones are, are like, suffering because the low land value. Um, oh, and by the way, the bar thing I was correct about. It's saying there's high demand, but the land value is so low that people, like, don't want to move in or whatever. Um, so I have, like, capacity. But I have to uh, raise the land value. It said that the, that the way... Oh, what did it say? It said to raise the land value... You have to, um, it said you could, uh, you said, it said you could bulldoze buildings, replace them with parks that'll increase the land value. And then once the land value has increased, then put a zone over the parks. I see it's high right at those banks or whatever, or right at the bank. And it said the other way is to... It said to shift the center of your city. Like, it's just one person on GameFAQ, so I don't know if it's true. 
But it basically said that, like, the game, like, calculates where the center of your city is. And, uh... Like, the land value is, like, highest in, like, the center of the city. And then, like, as it goes, like, towards, like, the outskirts... Then the land value is, like, lower there. Which, I mean, it, it does kind of reflect real life. Um... Because, like, when you're, like, in the city, it's, like, the highest land value. And that's why, like, rent is, like, the most expensive. But then when you go, like, a half hour out of the city, the land value is, like, lower. And then, like, rent is, like, cheaper and stuff. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I have money. Like, I've just been sitting here, like, lady, uh, letting time go by. So, so, I wonder how... Remember at the very start? Maybe you don't. It was a long time ago. But I was like, uh, you just like run out of money and then you can't build anything. It's like, well, you're always getting some money, right? So maybe I was just like impatient. Maybe I, maybe I had too many fire departments. Like I'm at the point I could do like nothing and I'm still gaining like money every year. I must have not had like good, like, yeah. I, maybe I just had too many fire departments and it was like costing me more than I was gaining. Basically, like, once you're, like, losing money, that's when you're eventually going to be screwed where you can't do anything. But you don't actually need, like, fire departments. I did look that up to just to double check, just in case there was, like, some sort of, like, effect that not having a fire department had that was making people, like, not want to live here. Um. Okay, so should I just blow these up? How about I blow these four up and then put parks and then put them back? Oh, it did also say that residentials, like, people don't want to live by uh, power plants. But then it's like, well, what about this guy right here? This guy's very open-minded, willing to live right next to a, a power plant thing. Oh, my God, I can't decide what to do. So it's like, oh, raise the land value. It's like, okay, but the land value, like, sucks everywhere. I thought that the land value, I thought the last time I looked, I thought it was, like, mostly high. Maybe that was police coverage. Yeah, I think that's what it that's what I was thinking of. Like the land value is like low in like most of the freaking city. So uh let's go ahead and well since these are not growing at all, these are not even like a loss. Let's go like this. Park it up, see if it uh helps. Parks, okay. I thought I saw a thing where it said parks are $5. Maybe that's on the PC version. I was like, what? I thought they were 10. Oh, man. Oh, uh, by the way. Uh, oh, anyway, what I was going to say before is, um, so I washed out of that stupid job that I was on, and then I went back to my old line, and our we like got rid of some people because our like quota went down. So then we don't need as many people. So so then when I washed out, I went back. They were like, uh, we don't have like a place for you. So you got to go to this other line. So I was like, okay. So I went to the other line. And uh, it turns out, and I like met the supervisor. And I went there and he was like, oh, I heard that um, I heard that you used to do gear case marriage. And I was like, and I was I was like, yeah, I was hoping to, to do that on third shift. But instead they put me on this like stupid station. But then, as it turns out, on first shift, they actually needed someone to do it. The guy who was on it had, like, gotten a bid. He was, like, leaving. Like, he wanted off. So, um, so my point is that the station I was hoping to be put on on third shift, I ended up getting put on that station on first shift. The only downside is that I'm not getting the, uh, I'm not getting the extra $2, uh, an hour for working third shift, but it's fine. Oh man, now I need to, uh... Maybe I'll just put commercial zones here. Oh wait, no, I need a police department. Well, how about I... If I put... Uh... How about I put a police department here? Should be fine, right? And then one more industrial zone here. There. I'm such a cheap bastard. I spent... 600 bucks plus 100 bucks a year just so I don't have to uh, connect the power through and then delete them when I do put a building there. Well, I knew I was going to put a building there anyway, so I was like, well, might as well just connect it with buildings. 
and uh, and be done with it. Okay, so I wonder how long it takes for the land value to go up. If it's gonna go down because I just put two more industrial zones, but but it should go up in the area where the parks are. I've actually never tested this, so I actually don't know like how long it takes. Whoa, look at that! It actually went up. Oh, that, actually, look at that. It it like disappeared. Maybe it's because the parks are not like registering yet. See how this like undeveloped stuff? It's like blue. Actually, it's more like this is more like gray. It's like grayish blue. It's the color of like bus tubs. So it's not quite the same color as this. I don't know why it's registering as that color. Maybe parks just show up as that color, maybe on uh on this thing or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Um Should I just put parks like everywhere? Okay, so I saved the forest to uh, to keep the pollution down, but it's like, well, it's not, it's not like increasing the land value at all, though. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna blow up these ones too. I mean, I've got I've got some money now to uh, to play around with. Might as well do these ones, too. I mean, if they're not developing, I might as well. Actually, you know what? Let's blow up these ones as well. Why not? 